Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us. We are so excited. We have a fun project that we're going to do where we're going to learn about colors today. So first things first is that I want to introduce you to our cameraman that you'll hear in the background. Hello, how are you? This is Keenan. He's going to be painting along with us. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Thank you. So, grab out all of your supplies. So if we do an overhead shot, you'll see that we are making a color wheel today. So grab out your watercolors. Now, for the three colors that I'm gonna be starting with, I'm gonna be using red, yellow, and a blue. So you can grab those three colors. Then we are going to mix and make other colors, which is part of the magic that we're gonna be doing here today. So grab that out, grab a brush and a cup of water, and then any sort of palette. This is the one I'm gonna be using that I'm really excited about, but if you don't have this, you can just grab a plate or something that you can get your watercolors on. Okay, the first step that we're gonna do is, as you'll see, we're doing a wheel. I want you to grab a piece of paper that you're gonna be doing on. I'm gonna be using watercolor paper. And, oh, the other thing that you might wanna grab is something that is circular. So I'm gonna be using a bowl or maybe you have a plate, but you'll see on my color wheel is that I have a circle. Now you can draw a circle if you want to freehand it, or what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my bowl as my friend, and I'm going to place it on my paper, and I'm going to trace it. So you can grab any sort of crayons or markers that you have. I'm going to be using these fun stacking stars ones. Those are adorable. Isn't that cool? Yes. So they have different colors, but I'm going to be using choose any color that you want and trace your circle. So I'm going to trace my circle and this is going to be for my wheel or my palette on my paper. So that's step one, do that first. Move this over here. Now what you're going to do is you are going to draw the three colors that we are starting with. So like I said, we have red, yellow, and blue. So watercolors are really cool where I'm gonna open up my watercolors and I, in my palette is I'm gonna just drop, you only need a few drops. I'm gonna drop a few drops of yellow or red. <laughs> Let me get my colors, red. And then I'm gonna skip one and then I'm gonna go to the next one and right here, I'm gonna do yellow. And then what I want you to do is skip another one or if you don't have the same palette, just go into different areas and then I'm gonna do my blue. So, I want to teach you something first, is on this piece of paper, as you'll see in this first section, you'll see the three colors that we're gonna do, red, yellow, and blue. So those are called our primary colors. So they are the colors that you can't mix to get them. They're, they're these special colors that are really, really strong that we are going to start off with. So I want to draw those first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your cup of water, you're gonna swish it around, hit off to the side so you don't have a really dripping wet paintbrush, and I'm just gonna swoop, get a little bit of my red, and in this top area, it can be anywhere around here, is you're just gonna draw a swatch. So a swatch is just a color sample of what you have. So there's my red, it's a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna swish off my brush because I wanna change my colors. So whenever you wanna change colors, you're gonna dip in, hit off to the side, and then I'm gonna go to my next color, which is yellow. So I'm gonna pick it up, grab some, and then let's see, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here. So I'm gonna leave space for my orange. So let me keep coming around my circle and maybe you're somewhere around here in the bottom right, paint and do another swatch. So you'll notice that they're different. They're like blobs. They don't have to be a perfect circle. You could, if you want to draw a heart, Ooh. if you want to draw a square. A star. A star, they can be any shape. Yes. That would be really cool. A moon, Yes. a car, a <laughs> loaf of bread. <laughs> Keenan has a big imagination, <laughs> which is awesome. Yes, we would, you can make them any shape that you'd like. So. We, those are two of our primary colors. Now let's do our third one, which you remember what the third one is, Keenan? Blue. Blue. So I'm gonna switch in my brush, clean my brush, pick up my blue. So I'm gonna leave room for my green, and then I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna do the same thing. 
and add a little bit of my blue. So these are our primary colors. So they are our three colors that we are starting out with. Now, the really cool thing is even though we have three colors, we are gonna make three more colors. And these are called our secondary colors. So on your palette, what you can do is I left this open area here, is I'm gonna grab my red, and let's see what happens if I do one drop of red, and then one drop of yellow. Oops, that might have been two drops, it's okay. Swish it around, get some water, and I'm gonna mix this. And what do we get? Ooh. A really pretty orange color. So in that space, I want you to add another swatch. So it's really, really cool because you'll notice that we mixed two colors to get a third color. And that is the magic of mixing colors and watercolors. So now let's keep going around our wheel and yellow and blue, let's mix those together. So I'm gonna do one drop of yellow and one drop of my blue. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna swish those around and so yellow and blue make green. Ooh, I like that green. Ooh, that's a good green. Now, let's do our last one. So we're gonna mix blue and red together. So let's do one drop of blue, one drop of red. Mix do you wanna together. show us to rotate that a little bit? Yeah, my palette? Yes, perfect, thank okay. you. Yeah. So I'm gonna mix those together. So blue and red make purple. Purple! Woo! So when you are looking at this sheet, you can always use this as a guide to go back to. So you'll see that I said, mix two primary colors together to make secondary colors. So if you think about it, primary is first. So these are our first colors. So maybe, maybe on our camera we can do a one, one, one here. And then this is secondary. So these are the second colors that you mix together. Okay. So orange, green, and purple. Now, what did I write here? Now we have a full rainbow. So now we have our full rainbow. So on any of our projects that we're doing that we're doing a rainbow together, this is how you can make that. And you can even see on the palette here, we have a rainbow all, all set up for us. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Turns out that that's actually the treasure at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> it's all the colors? It's just all the colors. <laughs> Yes. Now, here's the other cool thing that I want to show you, is that you have all of these colors that you're starting out with. I want you to know that you are an artist. You are, I also like to say you're a magician, where you can mix, you can mix like five more different rainbows. Five more? Yeah. So what you can do then is you can be like, okay, Nicole, I want to see what if I mix this color with this color? Oh, snap. What would happen? So maybe I pick up a little bit of the red, and I'll use it on this side of the palette. I'm going to clean my brush. Maybe I pick up a little bit of the orange. Maybe, let's see, I'll color it in right here. So it's kind of, it's a little bit different, but it's like a red-orange. So it kind of is in the middle of that. So then you can keep going. Let's see what happens if I mix this color so this is orange, and then I mix my yellow. Do a little swatch there. Ooh, so that made like a yellow orange. So you can keep going around and seeing what other colors you can get. This is the fun magic part. Let me do that a little again. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of green. So we're gonna get this cool, ooh, that's like a lime green. That's nice. Oh, that's a really pretty color. That's that's yummy in water. That's what? Lime. Limes. Mmm. Just squeeze a lime in there, get some extra flavor. I that makes me think of a lime popsicle. Ooh. Which sounds really good right now, even though it's cold. Okay, so I mixed my green and my blue and it kind of made a teal. So if you're like, I want it to be a little bit more blue, just pick up more blue. and see what happens. Remember, you are an artist and you get to see what happens. So I'm gonna pick up my blue and my purple. Ooh, 
That made like a navy. That's pretty. Now we got purple. So this palette is really cool because you can use the wells, which are the circles inside, or you can use the top part. Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty mm, color. That is really pretty. Wow. I don't so know what that is. I don't know what that is either. But we just made one, two, three, four, five, six more colors. That is so cool. Now, when you are doing this, if you have a couple other colors, I want to show you a few other things that you can add to your toolbox. So there may be times that you might have a color that's already made. So we started with red, yellow, and blue, but sometimes you might get violet. Violet is another, another way to call purple. So you might get that in a box and you might think, Nicole, I don't need, an, I don't need a mixed purple. I have purple already. So you can do that. So I just want to show you what that color is. If you ever have a different color. So let's see, maybe I'll do it right here. Ooh, so that's a really bright color. So it's cool because sometimes watercolors out of the bottle come in a certain color that you can use. But the cool thing is that, like I said, you can either mix them or you can use it right away. Now the other one that I want to show you about is magenta. So magenta is a pinkish color. Maybe you name these if you want, but I just want to show you all the colors. Pinkish. Pinkish. So that's, that's what magenta is. Now, the cool thing is that you will, sometimes you'll hear me say either magenta or red. So those are pretty similar. So if you have magenta and you're thinking, Nicole, I don't have red, what can I do? You can mix magenta. So I'm going to mix magenta and mix yellow. Let's see what happens when I mix them. Oh. And that made red. That's pretty. So this is what is so much fun about watercolors is that there is no right or wrong color on what you're doing. Yours may look different than mine. It may have a little bit more yellow. It may have a little bit more red. That is the fun part. So whenever you're painting with us here, know that there's no wrong color. Now, the last thing that I want to teach you is that you can make black and kind of a brownish color, or we call it chocolate. Mm, I love so, chocolate. So you can mix that. So what happens is that there are two different ways to do that. You can either mix, and I put them right here, you can either mix the two, the three primary colors, so your original colors that you have, or two of your secondary colors. So what that means, if I have my original colors, I can mix those three together. Let's see. There's a lot going on in this palette. So the primary colors, can you tell me again, Keenan? Red. Red. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue. Awesome. So I have those three drops. Is that in the shot? Yes, it is. Okay. So when I mix them together. What? what? Maybe I'll do it in the center. Whoo. So that made black. So if you want to make brown, maybe let's see, or I, I don't know. Maybe let's see what happens. What if I add more yellow to this? Oh, it kind of makes it more a little bit lighter. So maybe I'll do that right there. Hmm. That's cool. So there's all different colors that you can make even from that. That's amazing. That was really cool to see all the different colors. So you can do this on your own. You can do this every time that you get a box and you get a different set of colors. Maybe you see what color combinations can I do if I mix it and explore. Now, to keep going with this project, the final thing is that you can write your name on the top. So you'll see that I wrote, I wrote Sophia's name. So if you want to write your name at the top right here, grab any crayons or markers and you can do that on the top. What I want to show you is before you do that, is that there's also a practice worksheet. So you can practice writing your name and a really fun thing that I want to show you about writing letters, let's see, is if I were to write my name, is we all can write our name. What if you think of it as adding decorations to it? Yes, please. So you'll see that there's just like if you had Christmas decorations, add ornaments on a tree. That's kind of what we're doing. We're adding little ornaments to it. So on the ends of my letters, what if I add a circle? Oh, that's 
That's nice. What if the circles are in different colors? Ooh, do that. Whoa. That's this could be nice. like their wheels. Yes. <laughs> You're adding wheels to your letters. Ooh. So they can just fall over and roll around. <laughs> Yes, that's fun to do that. So you can add wheels, you can add hearts, you can add just lines to your letters. There's so many ways for you to decorate your letters and have fun with them. So once this is dry, mine's not dry yet, so I'm gonna do this a little bit later on, but what I want you to do is write your name at the top and then you can write color wheel and then Maybe save this. This is something that whenever you're painting with us, this is a good thing to have next to you. If you, if you, it's okay if you don't remember blue and yellow make green. Yeah. We all are learning together, and so that's what we're here to do is to to help each other know that there's so many cool colors out there in the world. That's why the rainbow is so beautiful. So I think that I'm gonna end that there. So if you want to do that on your own. And then we want to see what you make. So we would love to see your color wheel. Tell us about yourself. Maybe tell us what your favorite color is. Do you want to tell us your favorite color? I have a couple. Okay. But my main favorite uh -huh. is sunset orange. That is a really pretty color. And my favorite color is yellow. So I want to hear what yours are. There's so many different colors of the rainbow. And I think that's it. This was a really great project. We are really excited to continue to paint with you. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and creative, and I didn't do the motto at the beginning. So, we're gonna do it at the end. <laughs> what it is, is as I just said that, is we have a kids motto that we like to do together. So this way we kind of come together as a community, even if I'm talking to you right here, we're, gonna, we're here together. So, we're gonna do the motto right now. Yeah, let's do that it. Cool? Okay, so if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, now we are done. Um, make sure to clean up all your supplies, wash your brush, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.